So, which one of you is blind and who's guy? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, hey, I'm Mike, uh, blind sky bass player, uh, do background vocals. Hey, I'm Dave Kelly. I, I sing, I play guitar and synth. You, you, got, you, you can't open, because the, the first radio thing I did, I almost think I was too excited. I was like, man! Got the, you know, it was like the first one we did. I was I was too excited, and then the second one I was too shy, and then I think Birmingham I felt pretty good about that one. But I got yeah. a recording. Right How comfortable are you on stage when you're playing? Uh, when, when I'm on stage, I feel like I'm in my own world. You know, yeah. so I just kind of lose myself in the music. That's, that's the best way to explain it. I don't know. Everything just kind of goes away, and you know, it's just we just kind of in this special place. And it's just, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of times when I play, my eyes will just close. Like people have said that in the past, like your eyes close. It's like, and it, I don't, you don't think about, oh, there's a G chord here, or I'm gonna hit, sing this high note. It just, it just kind of, it's, it's almost like, I, I don't want to say autopilot because it's you're, you're feeling it while you're doing it, but it's kind of similar to that. You don't worry about anything. Everything just comes natural. You just kind of lose yourself in the music. Yeah, you lose yourself. So right now you guys aren't playing with a drummer. What's that like? How did you guys adapt to playing a live without a drummer? Is there a difference? Yeah, there's definitely a difference. Um, the way that all that happened, um, you know, Daniel, we, we loved playing with Daniel and, and everything, but we kind of got the idea that, that he may end up moving and, and at that point we decided to position ourselves in a way that we would be able to continue on and we wouldn't be dead in the water when he, when he did leave and so when he when he left we'd already done a bunch of shows just you know whether it's acoustic, electric, whatever without drums so that we would be able to continue on without him um, and we, we've gotten to where we would love to have another drummer but with or without a drummer we're, we're comfortable enough with the material to know that we can go in and pull off a full show. Yeah. Well, what about you, David? Uh, what's it like to be a singer in a band without a drummer? Uh, it, it comes pretty natural, I mean, because I think, I think when I started singing, I always had a guitar in my hands. So I was always used to providing the rhythm myself, really, so it, 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 we, we've been doing it that way for a year. Uh, because a lot of the, the venues we were playing were smaller places that we didn't have drums, so we kind of, like Mike said, we kind of set ourselves up to be able to do that. And also, uh, we have samplers that we have drum parts on that we can play along with as well, so if we want to do a full band experience, we can do that as two people. Of course, we would prefer to have a live breathing drummer, but, you know, we, we, just whatever we have to do to move forward, I think that's how we, we, we wanted to look at it. We, we didn't want to stop, you know. Because so many times in the past I've been in bands and you'll lose a member and just like, you know, six months gone, you're trying to find somebody, you stop playing, you know, it's like you start over. So so we, did, we didn't want to have to start over completely. Yeah, so. so far it's been going well. <laughs> so uh, are there any other types of similar bands like Blind the Sky in the Shoals area? That, that's, that's a hard question. Uh, that is a hard I mean, question. <laughs> uh, there, there are a lot of great bands in the Shells area right now. I think that we're fortunate to be in the Shells area right now. Uh, there's a lot of great bands out there. And, you know, a lot of them are doing their own thing. So, you know, in the answer to the question, yeah, we're kind of doing our own thing. You know, I think there's other bands out there that are doing their own thing. As far as... That's a good answer. Yeah, as far as... Uh, it sounds like us. I think we have a unique sound. Um, but then again, you know, somebody like uh, the Polys. I mean, they're doing their own thing. They have their own. They sound. have their own sound. Yeah, I so can I can hear a Polly song and be like, oh, it's the Polys. You know, Red Mouth. Uh, Red Mouth. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely got his own thing. Yeah, going Red on. Mouth's got his own thing. I mean, it's him. Um, I mean, you can hear it. It's, yeah, abstract theory. Yeah. Uh, you know, they've got their own thing. You know, um, Come to think of it, there's a lot of. 
different acts in this area now, which is really cool because I would love for this area to just explode with, you know, just basically be, this is a place to see good live music, you know. And I think there's a vibe kind of coming out of the shoals right now. You know, you, this area, you got the Civil Wars come out and the Alabama Shakes and, well, they're more from the Athens, not from Athens. Yeah, but, Athens, Alabama, that's yeah. Um, yeah, but, you know, uh, and, you know, they're, they're different. Uh, John Paul White with Civil Wars, yeah. uh, People kept trying to tell me, you know, you need to hear this guy. And I thought he sounded, his name just sounds to me like a new country artist, which I didn't I didn't think I would like that, so I just didn't really check him out. He's the movie watching. And then I saw him, and he blew me away. Um, you know, I was the last person to leave. And, you know, he's a very talented guy. And, you know, I think that, I think we all have to keep our mind open, you know, to, different bands and, and that's what I try and do and that's what I hope people will do for us. Yeah, I, I think, I think you, uh, there's so much good music out there I mean, and as far as us, we listen to, to so many different styles of music and I think if it's good, it's good. It doesn't matter what genre, you know, if it's metal, rock, you know. Yeah, bluegrass. Bluegrass. Blues. Blues. Uh, country. Um, just, just whatever. Good music is good music. You know, and that's what I want us to be known for is good music. Yeah, I mean, we just whatever comes out. It kind of goes back to what I was saying. And like I said, we may have a, a a song that has a reggae part in it in the future. Or, you know, I don't know, but I'm just, you know, if that's what comes out and it, and it sounds good, we'll go with it, you know? Oh. Yeah, if it works, it works. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, think, I think the new record is, is, uh, is going to be more of a, a focused direction. Uh, the EP, we love the EP, but a lot of things happened during that record. We got new members and the, it evolved, the, the whole process of doing the EP, we evolved as a band, we got Mike in the band, the sound, and with each new member, the sound changes, you know, if you add a new drummer, bass player, you know, it, it becomes a new, a new thing, so this record is definitely, uh, we have more of a solid direction as far as, uh, you know, uh, our sound, I guess. So are you talking about a future uh, album that you're working on? Or? Yeah. Okay. It, Do you have a name for that? The, uh, yeah, it's going to be entitled Humanity. Humanity. Yeah, it's going to be a concept record. So how long have you guys been working on it? Uh, about a year, roughly. I think this time last year we laid down all the drum parts. Uh, we have Mike just laid down the bass line for the opening track last week, and we have another song almost completely done. So. It's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast to make. We've got plans to have a choir sing on one of the tracks, and also to bring in a cello player on some of it too. And it's gonna have orchestral parts, and <laughs> I'm looking forward to, to getting it out. Uh, but it, it's uh, we're really experimenting a lot with it. Uh, you know, what we were talking about earlier with mic space. We've tried different micing ways to mic the amps and different effects and we're just really trying to experiment with different sounds a lot more on this record as well so so how does your songwriting process go uh, does it pop up in your head or is it something that you work on it's it's, it's different it's, it's it's different with every song really um, a lot of times i have like a program where i'll record a uh, just demos of riffs or melodies or anything I got in my head and I'll play it for Mike or and we'll listen to it and then he'll start doing a bass line to it. But then there's sometimes that Mike's come in with a bass line and um, it triggered a song. I think there's a song that's going to be on the record called I Will Remain and the beginning of it he uh, started playing just a bass line just out of the blue one night and I was like what is that? What's that chord progression? And I started, it was in my head and the next week I was like, here's a demo, what do you think of this? And it became a song. So it's, it's different every time. But a lot of times I'll, I'll just be sitting there and I'll start whistling a melody and and, and I'll just go in there and just, just uh, either record it or just so I don't forget it. You know, I'm like, i got to have a guitar before I forget this riff, you know. <laughs> but usually it stays in there long enough for me to capture it and play it for everybody. So. As a band, when you guys perform uh, gigs at bars, restaurants, uh, what type of equipment do you guys bring with you? Uh, no, well, see, I have a smaller, um, 
amp that, that I have. It's actually in the other room. It's a little 112 amp, and I just put it up on a stand, and I play that at the Marriott and some of the smaller places. And I just take just this pedal here. I don't take this. And then I, so it's, I have a smaller version of this rig that I can take. But it just depends. The Marriott we do electric and acoustic blend with you know with the guitar synth and everything. I can I can play acoustic on electric guitar. So we just kind of uh, it's more of what the full band is without a drummer. And then at Frank's we do just straight up acoustic. So it's it's just a lot of times it's what the venue you know if they prefer acoustic we play acoustic and sometimes we just like to play acoustic. You know it's fun to mix it up a little bit. So. <laughs> It's nice to be able to, you know, when, when you have your own studio, you have the freedom to, to uh, really uh, be experimental with your sound. You know, like most bands, you know, you would go in and you have like a certain time, like you would pay so much money, it's like, okay, after that, you want to come back in, you got to pay more money. So, and it can get expensive, you, you know, uh, but over the years, I've went to a bunch of studios and I always come out going, ah, you know, I, I always wanted to, to mess with something or there was always something but yes they say I don't think an album's ever finished you just kind of put it out but but that's what got me into it I would just sit yeah, in that, there that, that brings me to yeah, the next I question mean, uh, yeah. like, are you ever satisfied with a song <laughs> have you ever <laughs> Mike smiling over have there have you ever <laughs> feel I don't like think we're ever sad. I, don't, I don't think you're ever sad. I mean I, I, I still think we listen to the EP I, I know you do Mike you know and you're like oh I remember when I did this part I remember I did this I think every musician's like I'm sure, but, you know, I actually did listen to the EP recently, and, you know, I mean, for everything we went through when we recorded it, I think it came out great, you know, I mean, considering that right in the middle of the album, we lost the guitar player and got a bass player, so, and the sound totally changed in, in a lot of ways. On, yeah, on and, the, and Dave talking about yeah. the sound change, I mean, yeah. you can hear, if you listen to the EP and you, and you know what you're listening for, you can hear where the sound changed, I mean, Letting Go, Break Slater, and uh, Lost in Foundation were already songs that had been completely written and, and all that. Really, the first thing that we did as mm -hmm. having me in the band was uh, Migration. Um, you can listen to the other three songs and definitely hear a difference there. So, yeah, just just one memory can change the sound like that. Yeah, there, there's the, the, yeah just, well, I think... Also having a good bass player, <laughs> we, we we didn't have a bass player, you know, when we were first together we couldn't find a good bass player and, and we decided, okay, we'll just play without one because the white stripes do it, right, you know, <laughs> but no, we, we, after having a, a bass player, uh, yeah, I mean, I would never go back, we, we, just, we just wanted to play and we couldn't find. So how long find, has uh, Mike, the bass player, uh, uh, been with this blind this guy? Three years, right? Uh, yeah, at this point, um, June 2013, probably about three years and three months. How often do you guys practice? Uh, usually twice a week. Twice a week. Well, when we had Daniel the band, we were practicing three times a week. Uh, when we probably get a new drum, we probably will go back. I don't know what we're going to do. Because we'll have to work with him twice or uh, you know, two days and make sure he gets up to speed on all the stuff we've already written and then start writing new stuff with him. So. Well, you guys have a pretty good chemistry. Just the two of you guys. Uh, Thank you. you. Did it, uh, when did you guys realize that? Uh, uh, well, when I first got in the band, um, I hadn't played in a band for several years, um, long, yeah. long time, and uh, it, it was taking me a little while to get my feet back under me as far as playing in a band. Uh, you know, I would play at home, but it's not the same thing. And uh, during that time, uh, Dave kind of made room in his life to be able to have a separate practice from what the band practice was, just to practice with me, just to try and get me up to speed. And uh, I think it was during that time that we started realizing we had some kind of chemistry together. 
Um, I think I have so. all that today. Yeah, I would think. Yeah. Well, I, th- I think sometimes you're better off playing with somebody that has a it has, it has a great attitude and, and wants to work hard. And you know, you know, we if we get a new drummer, uh, you know, we don't expect the guy to come in in a day and learn all the stuff. You know, I'd, I'd rather have somebody that maybe takes a little work and puts puts a hundred percent effort in to, to play the music than have somebody that. You know, knows in five seconds, but maybe so, had a bad attitude. You know. So there's a there's a bond there. Yeah, yeah. It, it it had to take time yeah. to develop. Yeah, okay. yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, I like his personality from the beginning because we talk about different styles of music and that we were in the same bands, and he seemed to be very open-minded as far as his musical tastes and everything. So we, we kind of clicked just talking about music, and I thought, well, man, if he plays music, you know, he'd probably be the perfect guy to be in the band. You know. And we, when we started out, it took a little while, but, you know. It did, yeah. Uh, it, it was, it was, it was I remember uh, you told me about a conversation that Jim Daniel had. If I could just get through letting go, if I could play letting go and sound good, then maybe I was a keeper. Um, it just so happened that, you know, that practice after you guys talked about that, I know it letting go. Yeah, and I was like, like, okay. And then later on, we told him that story, and he was like, oh, I'm glad, I'm glad you didn't tell me that before I came in the room. Right? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Cause, but yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's, uh, I mean, it, when, when, through, when a group of guys get together and want to work towards common goal, it's just all about being on the same page. And you, you got to, that's why whoever this third person is, they've got to be somebody that wants to you know, do the same things that we want to do. And, and then, yeah, we all, every band has disagreements, but we always compromise, you know, if it's you know, something that Mike doesn't like or whatever, I'll try to meet halfway and vice versa. It's, but, you know, I, I just hope we find the right guy. You know, and that, that goes back to playing with two people. If it takes a year to find the right person, I'd rather wait a year and play with two people than just jump and get somebody in there that may not work and then you end up wasting a lot of time trying to get like that work and it doesn't work so and, and it has to be the right guy yeah. um it just it just does it has to gel because we're in no way going to compromise the music just to have somebody else in the band um you know it has to be there it has to be it has to be there. <laughs>